So the 5G pickup in Africa is a bit slower than other regions, uh, which is not largely a bad thing in this stage. We've seen the 5G pickup in uh, higher ARPU markets two, three years ago. Nevertheless, the return of investment on 5G in this market is not yet up to expectations. We're discussing with some industry partners we have in the African region now, who just started the 5G deployments, and I think they have a good of, uh, way of lessons learned from the previous deployments in other markets. And now we're taking Africa in a phased approach of 5G. So despite being a little bit behind, it was not a bad thing to do. The use case of 5G and the business case of 5G is yet to be mature, and I think we're in the right timing to capture that from the start. Okay, so uh, to name a few challenges in, in, in this market here, we start by the spectrum availability. So the new spectrum that's being allocated to 5G is not yet freed up or available or auctioned by the regulators. That's one of the challenges. The other one is power. Power is a challenge in Africa. A lot of uh, network operators, a lot of networks are running off grid, some in majority of places as well. And 5G comes with the high power consumption radios and equipment. So power would be one of the challenges as well when we roll out at the majority of, of these networks. The third one is the poor infrastructure. Uh, the infrastructure to host new 5G equipment is not yet ready and there will be some challenges to reinforce that structural towers or availability of these towers to host additional equipment might be one of the challenges that they would face. And the last but not least is the handset, the handset availability of 5G handsets where penetration of 5G ready uh, handsets is not very high right now. So you can deploy the network and find no users to use that network in the near future for that perspective. Now for your second portion of the question, how can Comscope help in that? Uh, we've been again working very closely with the, these partners of us in, in Africa market and we developed a couple of solutions mainly to minimize the footprint of the 5G equipment when the time comes. So our new solutions similar to Mosaic for example where you host 4G, 5G, 3G, 2G equipment in the same footprint of a normal 4G, 2G, 3G antennas. So this is one of the solutions we presented to the market. The other one is a solution which we call Beamformers, 88R Beamformers. It's minimizing the power consumption when you deploy 5G with very little to no compromise on the capacity or throughput. It depends on the, tower, on the loading of that specific site or sector. So these Beamformer antennas that we develop for our customers and our partners is helping them also deploy 5G with less power consumption. And on the third one, on the infrastructure as well, we're developing an antennas to host more than one operator, multi-bands, multi-operators, so your structural analysis would not fail you every time you come in to add a new technology on these towers. A combination of all of these and getting closer to our end customers and working with them closely is actually enabling us both to go through this period of 5G rollouts in Africa right from the start.